Greetings on my channel dear jewelry lovers. Today I will tell you about the treasures of kings, namely about the most luxurious crowns of the monarchs of the world, which a brief tacking Washington jewelry is what represents any monarchy. And here are the most luxurious crowns of rulers from around the world, including current monarchies and even long extinct one grown jewelry isn't just about Britain. There is a monarchical past in the history of most nations, even if they have changed their political system, and many remain kingdoms to this day. Just think of Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, and many other countries in Europe, and some other parts of the world also have royal treasures. And here are the most unusual and magnificent crowns of various monarchical dynasties, both current and defunct. The Danish crown jewels consist of three crowns, a scepter, an orb, a sword of state and an ampulla or flask. The sword is the oldest of these items, dating from 1551. The Danes used the terms old regalia and new regalia to distinguish between jewelry that was used before the establishment of the absolute monarchy. In 1660, Norway's monarchical treasures include nine items, the royal crown, the sword of the realm, the royal scepter, the royal orb, the queen's crown, the queen's scepter, the queen's orb, the crown of the crown prince, and the anointing horn, coronation robes, to kingdom banners and coronation thrones are also considered part of the set. The king's gold crown is set with an emerald, ruby, topaz, alexandrite, and white opal. Bavarian crown jewels the crowns of the king and queen in 1806, when Napoleon reordered Europe. He granted the German Duchy of Bavaria the status of a kingdom. The new King Maximilian I of Bavaria ordered jewellery to be made for the new monarchs. To mark the occasion, the crown he commissioned was decorated with rubies, diamonds, emeralds, sapphires and pearls. Today, the crown jewels are on display in the treasury of the Residence Museum in Munich. The Prussian crown jewels consist of a set of crowns, scepters and orb. Prussia joined the German Empire in 1871, and most of the Prussian regalia is now on public display in the Charlottenburg Palace in Berlin. The design of the ruler's crown with diamonds and pearls was revised 1889 for Emperor Wilhelm II. The Austrian crown jewels include a collection of crowns, scepters, orbs, swords, rings, crosses, sacred relics and royal robes that have been used for coronation ceremonies over the centuries. They were first worn by the Holy Roman Emperor and later by the Austrian Emperor, using them both at coronations and other state occasions. More than 50 kings have worn Hungary's sacred crown, the country's official coronation crown. The complete crown jewels of Hungary consist of the crown of St. Stephen, dating from 1270 to 1272, a scepter, auburn mantle, various alloys of gold and silver are used in the upper and lower half of the crown. The crown jewels of the Czech Republic include the crown of St. Wenceslas, the sword of St. Wenceslas, the royal orb, the scepter, the coronation vestments of Czech kings and the gold reliquary cross. The 22-carat gold crown is decorated with four vertical heraldic lilies set with rubies, sapphires, emeralds and pearls. Skanderbeg's crown, which was used to crown the rulers of Albania, dates back to the 15th century, 1460 to be exact. Today, the jewel in the form of a helmet with a goat is in Vienna, and only a copy remains in Albania. The reason is that the crown was smuggled out of Albania after the occupation of the Ottoman Empire. The Habsburg family, descended from the Italian nobility, later took possession of this historical artifact of highly unusual shape. Serbia originally had four royal crowns, but only one, the crown of Karadjordjevic, has survived and is still in the country today. The crown jewels of Serbia consist of the crown of Karadjordjevic, orb, scepter, buckle and mantle. The crown, scepter and orb are decorated with precious stones and covered with enamel. In the national colors red, blue and white, while the royal mantle is made of purple velvet with gold embroidery and fur lining. This crown was designed in 1918 for the intended King of Finland, but the political situation changed before the crown could be used at the coronation ceremony. A Finland's first independent monarch 
By the end of 1918, the uncrowned ruler had abdicated. The jewel was never used for its intended purpose. The copy that exists today was made by jeweler Toivo Dupe in the 1990s from the original drawings and is kept in a museum in Kemi. The Iron Crown of the Kingdom of Lombardy is a unique relic that was used as the crown of the medieval kingdom of Italy and also served for Napoleon Bonaparte in his coronation as King of Italy. The crown is made of a narrow strip of iron about a centimetre thick. It is claimed that the crown was made from the nails used in the crucifixion of Jesus, which explains the unusual choice of material behind the rich decoration. The surviving French crown jewels and major regalia, including a set of historic crowns, are mostly on display in the Apollo Gallery in the Louvre, France's main museum and former royal palace, but also scattered in various museums such as the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, the Basilica of Saint Denis, the Natural History Museum, the École des Mines or Reims. The crown of the Louis XV from these pictures dates back to 1722. Two crowns were ordered from England for the coronation of King Kalahawa of Hawaii in 1883. Kalakawa and his wife Kapiolani wore the jewels only once. Soon after, they were damaged by moulders during the overthrow of the government and later replaced with glass replicas, which today they can be seen in the Bishop Museum in Hawaii. The Korean crown jewels consist of several gold crowns, belts, necklaces, a sword, a dagger, gold shoes, earrings and more than 35 rings and studs. But the main place in the collection, of course, is occupied by an unusual crown made of gold and jade, which can be viewed from different angles for a long time. The crown jewels of the United Kingdom considered one of the most exquisite in the world, included are crowns, sceptres with cross or duff, orbits, swords, rings, spurs, colobium syndonis, dalmatic, armel and royal robes or veils, as well as a number of other items associated with ceremonial procedures. The imperial state crown, made for King George VI in 1937, is perhaps the most famous. The monarch's crown is set with two, 868 diamonds, 273 pearls, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds and 5 rubies. Another crown in the set, known as the Queen Mother's Crown, is set with a 105 carat Koinor diamond, one of the largest in the world. There is also the St. Edward's Crown, named after Edward the Confessor. It has been used to crown English rulers since the 13th century. The original version was destroyed and the current St. Edward's crown was made for Charles II. In 1661, curiously, not all countries that have retained a monarchy also have crowns. For example, in the kingdoms that united into Spain in the 1516 centuries, namely the kingdoms of Castile and Aragon, there were no successive coronation ceremonies and since then monarchs have not been crowned, but proclaimed. Thus, the importance of the set of crown jewels was also diminished, and much of what had existed in the regalia era was destroyed in the Great Fire of Madrid. On Christmas Eve 1734, in the 18th century, Charles III ordered a new crown and sceptre to be made, which are now displayed during the opening of the local parliament. The crown and sceptre are also present during the ceremonies of a new monarch's succession to the throne, but the crown itself is never placed on the monarch's head. These jewels are now kept in the Patrimonio Nacional. Which of the crowns do you remember the most? Write your co.